Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and this is AITS Select Series and as a part of this series in the last video, I have given you a problem on rotation where two insects are falling onto the rod and after falling they start walking on this rod which is pivoted about its uh, midpoint in the vertical plane. Okay, so it's a very high concept video on talk. So in case you missed out on watching this uh, problem, uh, this is the formal wording of that particular question. So in case you're trying this for the first time, this is a spin-off of the already existing problem uh, of previous JE advanced uh, from early 90s. It was one of the best problems on uh, torque and angular momentum. So try to go through this uh, problem set. Please do read. I wanted to keep that entire question in one page. So this is the starting wording of the question. And these are the options on the right side of your screen. So one or more than one might be correct. So read through it, pause the video, and then try it for two or three minutes. And then please do come back to watch the solution that I'm going to provide with the concepts that are involved. Okay, so for those who have already tried, so let's go ahead with the formal wording uh, very quickly. There is a rod which is pivoted about this point O, which is its midpoint, and the mass of the rod is given M and length is L. And there are two insects which fall onto the rod with a velocity V at two different positions as marked in the figure, right? So the first one is falling at a distance L by eight and second one L by four from O. After falling, they start walking with uh, certain speeds, okay? So they start walking towards the end B here, okay? Such that the rod rotates with a constant angular velocity, omega, and both insects are moving with the same speed with respect to rod. So the, all this information is already provided to you, okay? So they start walking in such a way, it seems, uh, two important conditions, that they walk with respect to rod with same speed throughout, and uh, they do so in making sure that the rod starts rotating obviously in clockwise sense with a constant angular velocity and the value of that omega is also given to you. During the time, insect S2 moves to the end B. Okay, so the S2, this, this uh, second insect, which is uh, moving by the time end, it reaches end B, the rod was found to rotate by pi by two. Okay, so it, all this information provided, mark the correct options uh, taking acceleration due to gravity as G. Okay, so always, as I keep telling you, whenever options are given in a JE advance exam, try to read through the options and first ascertain whether the options are similar or dissimilar. As you could see, each and every option here is a completely different concept. At times, they'll ask questions where they'll, in first and second option, they'll ask the same quantity, so that reduces your work. So here, uh, he's expecting you to solve for this omega, whatever omega is uh, the rod rotating with in terms of V. Ratio of speeds of one insect uh, at times t is equal to zero initially to t is equal to pi by six omega is being requested for and uh, that he's asking for two is to one. As insects move towards the end B during the rotation of rod by pi by two radians for the system of rod plus insects, we can use tau equal tau alpha about the horizontal axis passing through O and perpendicular to the rod. So a pretty lengthy statement, we'll come back to that. The value of V can be found in terms of G and L from the information provided. So from all this information, V can be found, it seems from G and L is the idea of option D. Okay, so keeping these things in mind, let's move ahead. And first and foremost, I think you would be doing is to relate this V and the omega with which the rod starts rotating uh, using angular momentum conservation. Of what system? System will include both the insects and the rod and that to about O. About O, the torque on this entire system would be zero because the forces would become internal uh, due to the collision. Okay, so that is the first thing we'll do, conserving angular momentum. When the insects are about to fall, they fall with velocity V. And once they fall and start walking just after falling, the let's say the angular velocity is omega, as you could see in the second diagram on the screen. So uh, LHS uh, of this particular equation talks about angular momentum of the system just before hit and RHS talks about the angular momentum just after the hit. Okay, right. So MV into L by 4, as you could see for the second insect, MV into L by 8, right. And this, uh, because they are actually rotating and remember, the insects walking in the radial direction will not add to any uh, angular momentum of the system. So you can consider at this particular instant, the angular momentum of the system to be equal to moment of inertia of the entire system multiplied by omega. 
for moment of inertia rods contribution i have written and insects contribution at this instant would be a distance of l by 8 and l by 4 respectively as you could see i added them so once you rearrange and do that you will end up getting 72v by l which essentially was option a okay now in this we got omega versus v relation okay before we move on to investigating the other options you need to understand that at any arbitrary instant when the insects have started walking let's say the rod has turned by an angle theta and he has mentioned that the omega is maintained to be a constant somehow uh, let's try to go to that uh, picture and understand certain concepts there okay so some of the concepts you need to know before we draw that picture are these which are very important for je advance about any axis attached to an inertial frame for a system of particles tau bar is defined as dl bar by dt you should understand this is a general and the correct equation even if the body is not rotating about that axis please understand this in this first equation i have never mentioned the system is to be rotating about an axis a system of particles if l bar is known about a particular axis and that axis is attached to an inertial frame then torque is actually defined as dl bar by dt if i take a non inertial frame then this equation will not be valid and in order to make it valid i have to write its pseudo torque on the left hand side okay so that is first thing this is very general now let's go to a special case in the second one for a body in pure rotation now he is talking about pure rotation the value of l will be equal to i into omega right and where l and i are measured about an axis please understand that and omega is also a component in that particular axial direction about the axis of rotation okay so this is a special case l is equal to i omega also is not always valid it should be valid only in case of pure rotation then combining one and two that means i assuming the system is is in rotation about a fixed axis and i want uh, this l to be substituted here in the pure rotation situation this would be the condition that we'll end up getting now what happens is this will become tau equal to i alpha when only i can bring the i out okay so only if i is constant if i isn't then i have to manipulate from here itself that's why tau equal to i alpha in the present scenario will not be applicable with the system of rod plus insects because insects are walking away and the mass distribution of the system is changing thereby i actually changes so i'll use this yellow equation and not the white tau is equal to i alpha so keeping these things in mind if we move forward and draw the picture of the rod at any arbitrary angular position theta can you see on the picture i have marked theta and since he said that angular velocity is constant i can write theta as omega t i can't write theta as omega t until unless omega is constant so this is a, a very important observation you have made there okay so this is omega t angle now insect which was at l by 8 has already walked a distance x and since both insects actually walk with same relative speed this gap between them is maintained and that would be always l by 8 so the second insect would be at a distance of l by 4 plus x so um, at this instant what i'll use is i'll use this uh, tau equal to d by dt of i omega equation and where omega is given constant right and that's why omega came out instead of capital i so that's the beauty of this question which in uh, which was also asked in previous je and where only one insect was there so there have been now two insects okay so now i applied torque on the left hand side is due to these two weight forces okay whereas the rod's weight will pass through the pivot uh, so i wrote the torque on the lhs you could see mg into l by 8 plus x into cos theta Co cos theta is cos omega t because you need to take the Uh, perpendicular distance you extend the line of action this would be the distance that i have to write so same thing happens for this cos theta comes out right and on the right hand side omega comes out and d by dt of the moment of inertia of the system okay in the moment of inertia of the system ml square by 12 will be a constant so only this part comes into the differentiation okay now it's important thing you need to note is uh, differentiation of this when you do you will end up getting 2 times m into this term and 2 times m into this term and dx by dt will come out and you could see the sum of these two terms with 2 times of that and 2 times of this will get cancelled with this okay so after differentiation i didn't write that step this this entire x term here and entire x term here gets cancelled and only dx by dt survives so i can nicely say that upon uh, while evaluating this you will get dx by dt on the right hand side here 
would be proportional to cos omega t here. This you can nicely integrate from the information that is given that the second insect actually walks to the end. You can write the limits of that x. And time taken also he wrote is from zero to the pi by two omega because the angle has been rotated. Why I'm not doing it is because the answer was theoretical and he didn't ask uh, anything about the calculation. So I made an idea that omega can be frowned upon, upon integrating this thing, okay? Because these limits are known and these limits are known, you can find the value of omega. Once you find the omega, you will go back to the first equation that you got and then you would be able to find the value of V in terms of G and L. Only those two terms would be available. So with this idea, let's go back and mark the correct option. So the first one we end up getting anyway correct, right? So this would be perfect, A is correct. And uh, B is pretty obvious, he's just checking whether you're reading the question carefully. Once he says, insect are moving with same speed with respect to the rod, at any instant with respect to the rod, speed ratio should be one is to one, right? So B is not a correct answer. As insects move towards the end B, during the rotation of the rod by pi by two radian for the system of rod and insects, we can use the equation tau equal to alpha. This is wrong, right? Because we have just now investigated for the system of rod and insects, the moment of inertia is changing. So this would be an incorrect option. C should not be marked. The value of V we just now found in terms of G and omega L, L in terms of the information provided. So the correct options are A and D. Okay, right. I hope you're ready for your next question in the AATS select series, right? So I've selected another good question, this time from the GMP, Fiji GMP, right? Some students have requested for me to take two sub questions. And this is a multi-conceptual question, a combination of magnetic field and also Young's modulus, that is properties of matter, okay? So I don't want to spoil your experience by reading it out. Just make sure that you understand this is your JE uh, new advanced model where numerical questions are asked. So uh, this is this is the question, okay? And for those who are new to this channel and want to check out what were the previously done questions from AITS Select Series, uh, the playlist of that particular AITS Select Series, quite a new number of questions have been done. Please do check in the link in the description below. And also there are other series that are running parallelly in the channel called as Pathfinder Solutions, then Olympiad Workout Series, uh, Resolved Series where a lot of uh, doubts were resolved, like the, the ones that are not usually covered in the textbook, not taken up by the teachers in usual manner, right? So those things are taken up. So all the links of these playlists are put up in the description below. So please make sure you go through them. And in case you like that content, you do like the video, share it and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be bringing up more such quality content in the future. And uh, uh, I hope you stay uh, with me in my journey. Okay, so thank you very much and see you in the next video.